Hi, Katie Anderson, leadership and learning coach and author of the best-selling book, Learning to Lead, Leading to Learn, Lessons from Toyota Leader Isao Yoshino on a Lifetime of Continuous Learning. Uh, here today to talk with you and reflect about what have I learned in the year or almost a year at the time of this recording uh, since the publication of the book. And it's really threefold for me. Uh, I've been getting this question a lot. What have you learned since the publication of the book? And so uh, I want to say, first say thank you to everyone that I've had an opportunity to uh, interact with, who've given feedback about how the book and the stories within have really impacted their lives, who've been part of my Leading to Learn Accelerator and the workshops and coaching communities that I've um, led, the book groups and the keynotes and all of the other opportunities to engage and hear from people about uh, how the book has been in impacting them. And I've learned so much from uh, your comments as well. So of the three points that I want to talk about in my reflection, the first is the importance of learning from failure and that knowing that failure is part of life um, challenges. This has been an incredibly challenging year for all of us in different ways. And one of the things that I've heard a lot from people is how much they appreciate Mr. Yoshino's um, reflections on failure and his humility of sharing his stories and his challenges as well. And I, I say the same thing. It was an incredible experience to be part of helping him reflect on failure over many years and some challenges and, and see things from a different light. And so it's really a relearning for me about how can we take the challenges in our lives and um, see them from a different perspective and reflect on what we can learn. Um, also, you'll see the Darumas behind me. These are Japanese dolls that represent the, the, the saying, fall down seven times, get up eight. And, and really it's about how can we continue to bolster ourselves to get up and move forward in our lives. And so we all have had an opportunity to reflect on the challenges, the failures, the setbacks that we've had this year in different ways. What can we bring forward to the future and how do we get up and continue forward and be the person we want to be? So just that, that the impact of being willing and able to learn in, from failure and move forward. Uh, the second thing that has really uh, highlighted for me is the simplicity and the challenge in what I have now called the leading to learn framework about a leader's role. And I was inspired by this the very first time that I heard Mr. Yoshino speak when uh, actually we met for the first time six months before I moved to Japan. And he made a comment about his role as a manager. And to me, this boils down to the essence of leadership. It's about setting the direction, providing support, and developing ourselves. So how do we create clarity of purpose, clarity of direction? How do we help support and develop other people, create the systems and structures and organizations that allow them to thrive and um, improve and develop themselves all towards achieving the goals? And then how do we start with ourselves? How do we connect with our purpose? How do we align um, our actions with that? And how do we see um, change starting with us. And so that this concept has really resonated with people around the world in both its simplicity and the challenges it provides for us. And so I've learned a lot from working with people about what are the things that enable us to be more successful in those ways and areas that have been um, challenges. But this leads into the third thing that I've learned um, and emphasized too, is that it all starts with the heart and genuine human connection. And when we start with connecting with people, about being there to support learning, to support people's development, of course, starting with ourselves, then so much will follow from there. And, and the challenge that we've all had with creating genuine human connections as well um, in a remote environment and that we can do this. And that's been one of the really exciting things about the different programs that I've offered and just um, the communities I've been part of and, and how we can really maintain and sustain genuine human connection when we're there with the right purpose and intention. And then I guess the fourth thing that I've learned, or it's really more that I've experienced, is gratitude for everyone around the world um, who has supported me, who've been a part of my communities, who um, have supported Mr. Yoshino and me in the publication of the book and of writing reviews and giving us feedback. And um, this is all part of the chain of learning that we have together. Um, we're all learners and we're all leaders. And so the connection that we have, I'm grateful for, and the ability to learn from and with everyone. So 
those are my big lessons and takeaways. Nothing new, but I guess I would say it's a deeper appreciation for these concepts and gratitude for our global community of learners and leaders and how we can all support each other.